friends, I'm back again with another Peter Reynolds story. As you can tell, this one's marked up here that it's our book. It's one that I really like a lot. On the spine it says Peter Reynolds and Ish. And I'm back in our old classroom all by myself. So I'm gonna take off my mask so you can see um, the pictures a little bit better. Move my chair so I can read the words to you. And get ready to enjoy. At the end of this story, there's going to be some activities, if you're viewing this in Seesaw, that go along with this book. This is Ramon, and Ramon loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. Now one day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers and his brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and he threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol, up the hill and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. I wonder why she did that. Why do you think he might have been surprised? This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. A vase-ish? Ramon looked closer, and then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's wall and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Ramon felt light and energized, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without any worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too, peace ish, silly ish, excited ish. His ish art inspired ish writing and he wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem ish. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it to enjoy slowly and carefully, to savor, like that delicious bite of pizza that you've been looking forward to, or whatever it is you like. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. I want you to think about drawing, and it might not be your favorite thing to do, but whatever writing materials you might have, I want you to ish the draw in your journal. When you're finished, upload it into your Seesaw portfolio. Um, and if you'd like to add a video and tell me what you're thinking when you're drawing or you wanna describe what you drew, I would love to hear that too. See you soon, stay well.